Welcome to the formal vlog. I have so many updates. I'm so excited for this week and for next week. I Google searched in my class today how many days there were until May 2nd, which is the last day of classes, and there's 16 days. We're getting so close, and this week is super exciting. Obviously, as you know by the title, it's formal. I have my dress. I have a spray tan appointment for tomorrow, pedicure appointment. My date, Matt, flies in tomorrow night. I'm so excited to see him. It feels like it's been forever, but it's literally been like two and a half weeks. Today's Tuesday, and formal's Thursday. I had two classes this morning, came back, showered, and now I'm getting ready for the second half of the day. Anyway, this week is so exciting because formal, Matt coming, whatever, and next week is really exciting because I'm going to Texas to visit Allie, finally. I can't believe all school year I still haven't been because she's been here three times, but I have yet to go visit her in Waco. If you're new, I have an identical twin sister and her name is Allie and she goes to school at Baylor. Me and my mom are going for her mom's weekend and then we'll literally be back the next week in Texas for my brother's graduation in Fort Worth. If you haven't been caught up in my videos, I've been gradually moving stuff out. I have a storage unit for the summer because move out is just going to be a little all over the place. Also, speaking of move out, I have to update you guys about my whole living situation for next year. So this week is kind of intense with sorority stuff because we're doing room picks for next year. Where's the hair? touched my spoolie. We're doing room picks for next year and our points close. So all semester we've been on a point system and whoever has the most points at the end of the semester gets first room pick in the house. There's 75 girls that live in. I'm still, by the way, using the remnants of this. I need to stay on track. Long story short, 75 girls that live in the house. One of the singles is taken by the girl who was appointed house manager. I applied for that position, didn't get it. I was sad, but I got over it. So it was down to three more singles in the house and in in terms of the points because everything's based on the point system there was one girl ahead of me who also wanted a single this one room i just really wanted so bad and i really wanted to be sure that i could get it i don't want this to come off the wrong way like they should give me this because xyz because that is not the case at all i was just really concerned about my room situation because being in a triple this year it's been tricky to work around my roommates being in the room when i want to film just in general like also sharing a space with someone else while sharing my life online and as dramatic as it might sound it's so much more than a room to me because it doubles as my filming studio for the next nine months and that could totally alter the direction of my content like lighting wise where a window might be where the mirrors are just little things like that i've been thinking so much about it just keep that side of things in the back of your mind so every summer dg sends a girl to the lewis institute in ohio it's like a leadership conference i don't really know that much about it but no one had volunteered to go from our chapter and you have to send i think one or two girls so our president sent out an incentive saying if a girl applies to go to the lewis institute and she's selected she'll get first room pick so of course since i've been literally going psycho about this room thing just wanting to know wanting to be sure that i can have a single and i won't have to to scramble to find a roommate. I, of course, applied to go to the Lewis Institute and I was selected to go to the Lewis Institute. So I'll be guaranteed this one room that I really want in the house, which I'm really excited about. It's like a five day trip. Everything's paid for by DG, so why not? There was nothing really stopping me. I'm not gonna have a set job this summer aside from making content. So I was really willing to jump on that opportunity and i'm really excited that i'll be living in a single next year i won't have to worry about invading someone else's space with my filming and i'll be able to really make the most of the space that i have that's a big answered prayer i'm so excited to eventually show you guys the room it is so cute the built-ins and the shelves and just everything i was already on pinterest today looking up photos for how i want to decorate things and just make it super cute and homey so that's that on the living situation for next year. Everything is sorted, thank God. In other exciting news, also, I got into a fight with this curtain. I just, like, for the life of me, I was getting so frustrated. I could not get it to stick back up in the closet, and I just tore it down. It's just on this really cheap, that cheap rod from Target. And at this point, with three weeks left, I don't know if it's worth the struggle of it coming down every couple days to put it back up again. I was saying, in other exciting news, I received two packages today. They're both really heavy. I was lugging them all the way back from the UPS store. Oh my gosh. This is probably the best PR package I've ever gotten in my life. I think the second box is probably full of the same thing. Okay. The packages are both from Poppy. They just sent a massive amount of drinks. Thank you to Poppy for sending all of these. Holy cow. They sent so many flavors. This is my favorite, the cherry limeade. I wonder if I can bring these to DG and give them to girls tonight because I have so many and I want to share them. 
cheers i also love this one strawberry lemon i'm big fans of both of these but i haven't tried a lot of these flavors so i'll keep you updated i set them all out on my desk for a photo this looks like an art piece i don't think you can ever move these as far as the rest of the day goes i'm gonna run and get lunch before my class on zoom i just facetimed grace for like 45 minutes we haven't called in a sec and it was just so good to talk to her and catch up and i was just yapping to her while i organized my little art project but i need to run and get lunch i have this one big assignment that i'm working on so i'm gonna go sit in the coffee shop and listen to my math zoom class and do as much as i can it's probably gonna take me like an hour or two hours but i just want to get it done it's due tonight i've just been putting it off all week and yesterday i was editing all day so anyway i need to finish it all before tonight because we have an rpw at dg which stands for recruitment preparation workshop they basically just train us for recruiting the next class of girls in the fall. So the plan goes get food, listen to my math Zoom class, do the annotated bibliography, go to my other class, and then go back to DG. And I'm just gonna eat dinner there and stay for the RPW. Sorry if you're sick of the sorority talk. I've been talking so much about DG stuff and sorority stuff, but it's just what's on my mind right now with everything going on. No. <laughs> People are gonna what, you actually walk butt? like this. They're gonna think I have a big butt. Straight yeah. to rate the cookie. 7.5. Wait, I think it's like an eight. Okay, eight. For gluten free, for gluten free. Yeah, for gluten free, ten. <laughs> like a seven. I had a really good cookie <laughs> earlier. Like, so like, okay. Seven point five. Seven point five. Yeah. Cookie rating. Ready, go. Ten. Finally getting ready for bed. This is barely balancing, so I'm really hoping it doesn't fall down. I finally ordered a new tripod. Just a new one of this, because I've had the same one for, I want to say like three years. It was just getting so flimsy. So now I have one that will actually stay up properly. Today has been so nice. I feel like it's been the first day in so long that I've actually been able to just chill. I don't know what it is about this month, but it's just been so nonstop. I think because we hit the ground running after spring break and we're just so close to the end but picking out my room in the dg house moving stuff into the storage unit i'm probably going to get so repetitive with this but it's just starting to feel more and more real that freshman year is almost over i'll only be posting two more videos after this one before my move out vlog so it's gonna come so fast i did the dumbest silliest thing yesterday or i guess not yesterday the day before we went on house tours of the dg house and we were just walking around all the rooms looking at the decorations looking at what rooms we wanted to put first on our lists i had this dumb moment i was looking around in all the rooms looking at all the stuff everybody had and I was like feeling insecure because my clothes that I have don't even fully fill my dorm closet just because I don't buy clothes that often and I literally went back to my dorm and I made a list of all the things I wanted like I made a wish list being like I want this perfume I want this I want all these things that I saw that these other girls had living in the house I really try not to buy clothes often because I really don't need to like why would I spend the money yet I was still having a moment of like oh my gosh i want all these things like want 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 and i was talking to adeline about it and i was like this is actually the dumbest thing ever like that stuff i'm not gonna ever care about god forbid some kind of natural disaster hits us all i'm gonna care about is my friends and my family and the people i love and i was looking at all these material things getting caught up in that and just missing all the blessings that are like i'm getting a good education i'm in college i have such a cool job all these things that are right in front of me yeah i'm blind to that because i was getting caught up in material things i don't really know where i'm going with this i just thought i would share that thought what's important is not what we have that's so ironic because i'm showing all these products and i'm doing my skincare routine but I hope you get the gist of what I'm saying because it's honestly like so much of what I share in these moments, a message to myself. At the end of the day, who cares? Truly, I don't at the end of the day because I'm not gonna go for a designer bag or some expensive perfume in a moment of crisis. All I'm gonna care about is the people that I love and the very few sentimental things that are important to me. I think with social media too, it's so easy to get caught up in wanting material things just because you see so much of what everybody else has online. And I'm like, once again, preaching to the choir because I share products that I love and share my life for a living. But that doesn't mean 
I'm exempt from getting caught up in those things or you're alone in that comparison game because it's not the case. Also, I'd way rather spend my money on experiences like traveling places and buying gifts for the people I love, donating, whatever the list goes on. You get the gist, hopefully, of what I'm saying. I'm so excited for tomorrow. I will be back probably like beaming with excitement in the morning. It's gonna be a full day of formal prep. It's 9.09, but it's in the door, so I just have to be quick. I'm back from class. It's 11, almost 11, and I need to get to my nail appointment because I'm like five minutes late. Okay, we are looking so cute. I haven't updated in a bit, but it's 1.55, and we got our spray tans, I got my pedicure, and we got smoothies. Hi, I'm Ava. Hi, I'm Caroline. I got the Go Green smoothie. I'm back and my tan is developing. I talked a little bit about it at the Aussie Bowl place, but I don't think you can hear me because of the lens, so I'm probably just gonna cut it out. But I was saying that the tan is supposed to last six to eight hours. You can already kind of see some of it because I forgot to take my rings off, but it looks really good. And the reason we all went together was because it was a DG sisterhood event. So we all got discounted spray tans, but I have a couple things to do this afternoon. I'm just gonna try to knock out everything that I would be doing this weekend so I don't have to worry about it when Matt's here. He gets here tonight at like 11 p.m. So I have quite some time to finish everything. I really wanna get stuff cleaned up like I just want to do my laundry and have everything nice and clean whiten my teeth do my eyebrows because they're kind of messy they could just use some cleaning up and then computer work stuff and that's pretty much it also Ryan has to paint a cooler because she's going to her boyfriend's formal this weekend so we're gonna do that tonight I'm gonna help her out I have like a thing in the dorm to go to for extra credit and that's pretty much it so it should be a good chill afternoon I'm just so antsy because I'm so excited for Matt to get here but everything's on track I'm also gonna go to Young Life tonight that's the other thing that I forgot to mention so for now I want to put some music on and just tidy stuff up. I have the poppy boxes still in here and a cluttered desk and closet to tidy up. midnight and I just pulled up to the Denver airport even though it's so late I'm just so wired because I'm so excited Matt landed like 10 minutes ago so he should be coming out any minute now it's so late there's not a lot of people here I'm really hoping they don't make me circle around I'm in Adeline's car also so thank you Adeline if you're watching this I showered off my spray tan and I got a good I still have a little bit too tomorrow I think there's someone's gonna make me Basically, the way the Denver airport is laid out is there's two terminals and you can't just easily circle around when you're picking someone up. You have to go fully back around the terminal. I want to say it's like a mile. It's just, this airport is kind of a nightmare because it's so massive. I just don't think there's that many flights getting in and I don't think they're going to be that strict about people picking up. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll keep you updated. I'm so excited. I called my mom and it was good to talk to her on the drive. It's like 40 minutes from Boulder. So now I'll just be here excitedly waiting. We're staying in my dorm tonight. I made sure so many times it was okay with my roommates but they don't care we couldn't get a hotel until tomorrow night so we're having a sleepover tonight in the triple the exact time is 12 17 a.m the flight was delayed a little bit and i still have some work to do but i knocked most of it out and hopefully i can just finish the rest tomorrow and then be good for the weekend i'm really excited because for saturday night no Saturday night we're going on a date for our anniversary, but for Friday night I booked us a cooking class, which I'm really excited about. How many times can I say excited or exciting in the same clip? We're supposed to be making Parisian chicken. I was gonna do a steak one, but there was only one spot left, so couldn't make that work. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm just so antsy. I don't wanna wait any longer. I'm gonna call someone or like go on TikTok or something and just hopefully the next couple minutes We'll speed by. Happy Thursday. Happy formal. Welcome to our luxurious five star hotel. It has one star. We live in luxury, guys. Look at our gorgeous mirror. I'll try some of the view. Oh, yeah. Our view. You can't beat that. That's real luxury. 
three dumpsters. I was really trying not to one, save not two. Money. Three. I was really trying to save money, and this was just honestly the best option. Everything else was an arm and a leg because it cost a million dollars to stay anywhere in Boulder. So. Now you just panicked. Not to be grateful, but he's late. complaining. So I would have bought a good one. I went with the orange dress. It's from Beginning Boutique. Matt was gonna wear a yellow tie, but it doesn't really match. So he's just gonna wear no tie. I still need to do my makeup. I really need to hurry up because Ryan and Maya are gonna be here soon, and then we're all gonna go together. Ryan was supposed to bring her boyfriend Jackson, but he's just super sick. So Maya is coming as her date instead. I can't remember if I talked about it, but formal itself is on campus at our football stadium. So we're gonna check in at DG and then go to Folsom Field, and it's up where the boxes are. I think. Okay. Show you my setup. I just have a lot going on. It's also just after five o'clock, which is so early for a nighttime event like this, I feel like. But the reason it's so early is because we were supposed to be able to see the sunset from the venue, but it's been snowing all day. So I don't think we're gonna be able to see it. But it is what it is. It's been so warm all week, and then just this weekend is supposed to be freezing. But it should be hello. I could not figure out how this works. Me and Matt have a theory that this hotel used to be a hospital because this looks like a hospital bathroom. I was saying I'm trying to be positive because the snow will be good for skiing because we're gonna go ski on Sunday. I'm gonna have to do a lot of bronzer to even this out and to make my face match my body. Here's my date. Is that normal? I think, is it fine now? It's being weird. There. I think. But that's the same guy. That's not perfect. They won't get it. I don't want to get makeup on you. Oh. Remember when we did that at prom? Yeah. Throw back to prom. Ah, two years ago when we started dating. I show should insert some of that footage. Guys, look at the floor. I was talking about how we have a theory. Don't show my toes. Oh. We have a theory that this used to be a hospital bathroom. In the bathroom. mold. <laughs> I can't get it to stand. Oh. Good job. That might fall. Be careful. Okay. Don't let it fall. I won't. I'm just keeping my hair straight because I don't have time to curl it. We've had a good day. We've just been like running around, running errands. I just was trying to take advantage of the car since we had Adeline's car all day. Why do I feel like this is weird? Oh, it was bent in the back. I wonder if I can sit down on here. I repositioned it. I think it was saying something about my hair, but I was gonna say something about my spray tan. I think this time around, the spray tan was much better because it was actually done by someone instead of a machine. Last time I felt like I didn't look like myself. It was a lot better the second day, but the first day I was like, I don't look like me. I didn't love that. I'm not wearing heels because it's snowing outside. I'm just gonna wear tennis shoes and... Oh, hold on, I think Maya's here. Oops, hello. Walk in and go to level two. The room is 219, but I can come out and find you. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss. It's in my okay. It's blush. <laughs> Pictures, by the way. Dumb and dumber. <laughs> yeah, actually. So, unfortunately, Jackson got ill, so he couldn't make it. He fell so, Ill. here is my replacement. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Can I do a shout out again? Because the people that I shout out last time loved it. Hi Sally. Hi Audrey. Hi Zoe. Got that out of the way. Hi yeah. Jimmy Hansen. Wait. Hi Kristen. That's her mom. Anyway. <laughs> I need to lock in and finish my makeup. Okay, I'm ready. My necklaces are from Goriana. Dress is beginning boutique and my tan. In this moment, I'd honestly rather be this tiny bit orangey than have super pale skin. So I'm okay with it being a little uneven. And I'm just gonna wear these because they can get dirty. Well, well, well. Here we are like five days later. It's 8 p.m. on Tuesday and I just have completely forgot about ending this vlog until now. I filmed a little short get ready with me for formal and we went to formal and it was so much fun and we went to IHOP with Adeline and her boyfriend after. And then... Do you have a thin Sharpie? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, like a teeny? Yeah. No. Maybe there's one in the art room? Kira can't hear me vlogging because she has her headphones and she's painting a cooler, but... I was saying we went to IHOP with Alan and her boyfriend after and we just had such a fun weekend. We skied on Sunday and it was amazing because it had snowed and as much as the snow was crummy during the actual weekend, it made for such great skiing and it was closing day and I never knew like, I don't know ski culture because this is my first real season like skiing multiple times and on closing day, everyone goes crazy. It's like a big party and there were so many funny outfits. It was just such a fun weekend. It was a happy bittersweet goodbye because I know the next time I see him we will get a long long break from doing long distance all summer except for when I go to Ohio it's gonna be worth it the lady booked the flight like the travel agent helped me book the flight today and I just for some reason didn't realize it was gonna be like six and a half hours probably from California to Ohio I thought it was gonna be more like four or five but hello geography 
I think I have to connect. Anyway, that'll be a fun vlog when we get there eventually, but it's gonna be a super fun week. I've already started my next vlog for Texas weekend. I haven't really talked about that. I can't remember, I don't know. My brain's in a million places, but I'm going to Texas this weekend for Allie's mom's weekend. It's just gonna be such a fun time. Of course, I'm gonna be vlogging that, and I just wanted to do a proper outro, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so grateful for all of you. I hope you enjoyed it, and got to experience a little bit of the fun of formal. I tried to pack it with stuff, all the prep before, because I knew I wouldn't be vlogging much this weekend. I'm gonna shut up now. My mom's not gonna like that I said that because she thinks saying shut up is very vulgar, but I'm going to hush now. And thank you guys once again for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Two weeks till move out. What is life? Crazy, okay. Love you guys. I'll see you so soon in the next one, bye. What, I don't know why I just said that. Goodbye.